Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss an interesting topic that is conversion of moving coil galvanometer into ammeter and voltmeter. Uh, I generally prefer to teach this topic by having a comparison in both the cases. So I have drawn a central line on the board where I will be teaching you the basic concepts regarding these two things uh, side by side in a comparative way. Right. So what is a voltmeter first tell me. You all know that it is a device which measures potential difference right so it measures potential difference it measures current ammeter measures current now how is a voltmeter connected in a circuit you all know that it is connected in parallel in a circuit and how is an emitter connected in a circuit it is connected in series right now if it is connected in parallel in this in a circuit and it wants to measure the potential difference so it must not draw any current from the circuit right so if it uh, has to have a maximum resistance in order to not allow the current to pass through it right so if it will draw any current it will give a faulty reading for the potential difference so that's why it must have high resistance should not draw current that's why it must have high resistance now for this it must have low resistance because we want to measure the current and all the current must pass through it to allow maximum current through it right now how to make a voltmeter from a galvanometer then so that's why you have to remember this point very very important is that here since we want it to have a very high resistance so if we have a galvanometer having resistance g then we connect a high resistance in series with this right so high resistance in series with mcg converts it to a volt meter right so this setup is called as a voltmeter so this complete setup is a voltmeter right and here we want it to have least resistance so how can we decrease the resistance of a setup we know that in parallel the resultant resistance is even lower than the smallest resistance so in case we connect a very low resistance in parallel with the galvanometer then this will give the setup a very low resistance due to this low value so a uh, 
लो रेजिस्टेंस इन पैरल विद द गैल्वानोमीटर converts it to a an emitter right so if you look at this setup this is giving the galvanometer current and this is giving the if this is the total current so this is i minus ig which will pass through the shunt and this complete setup this complete setup is called an emitter right now if i want to find the resultant resistance of a voltmeter so for voltmeter this is the r of a voltmeter this is equal to these are in series so galvanometer resistance plus the series resistance and if i want to find the resultant resistance of this emitter i can write these are in parallel now so 1 by resistance of emitter is equal to 1 by s plus 1 by g where g is the resistance of the galvanometer right now here in this case if i have to check the potential difference in both the arms in galvanometer arm we know that these are the two points a and b so potential difference is same in parallel so i can find the potential difference this way also so i can write ig into g is equal to i can write potential difference i minus ig into s right now this is what this is a resistance which is connected in parallel with the galvanometer its value is very very low so s can be calculated as ig g upon i minus i g where i g is the current for full scale deflection in the galvanometer and i is the current entering in the circuit s is the resistance which is required to convert it into an emitter right so from here this can be converted into other form also g upon this ig can be uh, used to divide numerator and denominator on right side so this is g upon i upon ig minus 1 this can also be written like this and minus 1 where ig is equal to current for full scale deflection in the galvanometer right and uh, i is the upper range limit this is for numericals right and here we know that uh, rv is the resistance of the equivalent resistance of the voltmeter g is the galvanometer resistance in both the cases right now if you look at this figure this is the current through the galvanometer now if i have to find the total potential drop across these two points 
right so if this is the potential drop across these two points this will be equal to the potential drop if i mark this as a b and c points so we know that v is equal to v a b plus v b c right so this potential drop is measured by this voltmeter obviously now this is i g into g plus i g into r s or you can say that i g into g plus r s which is the resistance in series right now we can find the value of the series resistance which is required for conversion of a galvanometer into voltmeter from here so this will be v upon ig is equal to g plus rs so therefore resistance which is required to be convert to convert it into voltmeter will be this so this is the formula for the resistance high resistance which is required in series for conversion of uh, mcg into a voltmeter and this is the value of the resistance required and this is rs is the high resistance required in series to convert mcg into a voltmeter here i would like to draw another diagram that is not necessary to be taken in this video but still i would like to draw that if this is your voltmeter setup now in any circuit if you have any resistance and you want to measure a potential difference across any point then you use the voltmeter like this so voltmeter is actually this complete setup and we know that for measuring the current we use an emitter in series so by looking at this you feel that this is something very simple if you look at the microscopic level we will get to know that this is equivalent to right and here in this case how will this setup look like actually right so this complete setup is your emitter and this complete setup this one is your voltmeter right so this was all about the conversion of uh, volt uh, mcg into voltmeter and 
emitter. So, hope you understood the topic. That's all for now. Have a nice day.